Welcome back. In this uh, second video of our series, we're going to prove that the tangents to circles are perpendicular to the radii that, that meet those tangents. Now, if you haven't already tried to prove this, pause the video now and try and come up with a proof yourself. Okay, let's start the proof. To begin, we're gonna state the theorem a bit more formally. We're gonna prove that if omega is a circle with center O and L is a line that is tangent to omega at the point P, then the line passing through O and P is perpendicular to the line L. We'll prove this, as we prove many things in geometry, by contradiction. We're going to assume to the contrary that the line OP and the line L are not perpendicular and try to arrive at a contradiction. Now because they're not perpendicular, one thing we can start off by saying is we can definitely draw a perpendicular to L through O. This is a previous proposition. So let's do that. Let's construct a, a line that is perpendicular to L that passes through O, and we'll let Q be the foot of that perpendicular. By our assumption, Q cannot be the same as P because uh, the line L was assumed not to be perpendicular to uh, the, the radius. Now, as we take a look at this point Q, our drawing kind of suggests that Q should be outside the circle, but we don't necessarily know that to begin with, so let's talk a little bit about where Q can lie. Now, Q cannot be in the interior of the circle, because if you think about it, if Q were in the interior of the circle, line L would include a point in the interior, and the line circle continuity principle would then mean that the line L intersects the circle in two different points. But that's contrary to our assumption that L is tangent to the circle. So Q cannot be in the interior of omega. Likewise, Q can't be on the circle because then again, the line L would pass through two points of the circle and line L is supposed to be a tangent to the circle. That only leaves for us the case that Q belongs to the exterior of omega. Now based on that, and you can kind of agree that that should be the case uh, based on our picture, by definition of exterior, this means that the distance from O to Q is greater than the distance from O to P. O to P, uh, that was a radius, and segment OQ has to have a length greater than that because it's in the exterior. On the other hand, if you take a look at the picture, you can convince yourself this is a right triangle, and therefore, by the Pythagorean theorem, OQ's length squared plus PQ's length squared should equal OP's length squared. Now because uh, the square of a real number is always greater than or equal to zero, that tells us that the length of OQ can't be any uh, bigger than the length of OP. In fact, it has to be smaller. But then these two statements, that the length is bigger than OP and that the length of OQ is less than OP, are a contradiction. So we uh, conclude that we must have started out wrong. The, the line OP and the line L must be perpendicular as desired. All right, that is the proof. On to the next video.